Why am I not getting pregnant after transferring good quality embryos? Should any other factors be considered? Unfortunately, many patients undergoing IVF never get pregnant, even after transferring multiple embryos. Globally, live birth rates in assisted reproduction range from 25% to 30% per initiated cycle, and 74% of unsuccessful IVF cycles are because the embryos never implanted. A good quality embryo is the best starting point. However, the embryo also needs to be transferred to a uterus that is ready to receive it. To explain further, the interior of the uterus is lined with a tissue called the endometrium. This is the nest which your body prepares each month for the arrival of an embryo, and it's the home where the embryo implants and resides during gestation. To achieve a successful pregnancy, an embryo must implant in a receptive endometrium. Even the best embryo will fail to implant if conditions aren't good. During the menstrual cycle, your endometrium goes through several stages, and with only a very short period of time, the embryo is able to implant. This period is called the window of implantation. Implantation may occur between the 19th and the 21st day of the cycle. However, each woman has a unique implantation window. Some windows can be earlier, some windows can be later. Some windows are longer and some shorter. Unfortunately, doctors aren't able to realize that your personalized window may be different until after the embryo transfer succeeds or fails. Accumulating clinical evidences have shown that almost 30% of women have a displaced window of implantation. This could reduce your chance of becoming pregnant if the transfer is not planned accordingly. Knowing when your endometrium will be receptive is key. The information about your personal window of implantation will optimize your chances of pregnancy with a personalized embryo transfer. The Endometrial Receptivity Analysis, ERA, is a diagnostic method developed and patented by Igenomics to find your personalized optimal time for embryo transfer. ERA is the first and unique endometrial receptivity genetic test in the market that has extensive scientific and clinical evidence, backed by 29 publications by Igenomics and 5 external publications from case reports, retrospective, prospective studies, and a randomized clinical trial performed in the last 10 years. The ERA test is indicated for patients who have transferred multiple good quality embryos without getting pregnant. How does ERA work? A small piece of tissue is taken from your endometrium by your reproductive endocrinologist. This sample is sent to Igenomics, where the sample using next-generation sequencing analyzes the 248 genes involved in the endometrial receptivity, classifying your endometrium with a computational predictor as either receptive or non-receptive. A receptive result shows that your window of implantation is the same day as when the sample was taken, and the recommendation is to proceed with the embryo transfer under the same conditions as for the biopsy. Most women will receive a receptive result. A non-receptive result shows that your biopsy was taken outside of your window of implantation. It can include a pre- or post-receptive state. In this case, ERA will estimate your optimal time, indicating to your doctor when your personalized embryo transfer should be done. Your doctor should receive your ERA report in 15 calendar days after the sample has arrived at the Edgenomics lab. With your ERA report, doctors can transfer your embryo precisely during your window of implantation. With the ERA test, in approximately 90% of cases, a direct recommendation is made for personalized embryo transfer, saving your time and money. More than 55,000 women in over 1,500 IVF clinics worldwide have had the ERA test performed. This has resulted, so far, in a 73% pregnancy rate after a personalized embryo transfer. There is a risk, less than 5%, to get a non-informative result in which the biopsy procedure has failed to obtain a sufficient quantity and or quality of tissue to be able to make a diagnosis. If this should occur, a new biopsy will be required. The aim of this test is to provide physicians with an objective molecular diagnosis of the patient's endometrial timing of receptivity. 
Depending on the results of this test, the physician may use it as a guide for personalized embryo transfer. Pregnancy is not guaranteed, even with a receptive result. Poor embryo quality, genetic abnormalities, or previous pathologies can also reduce the likelihood of becoming pregnant. The ERA test does not test for any other endometrial pathology and does not assess or provide a prediction for the health of a subsequent pregnancy. To summarize, starting your IVF treatment with an ERA test will help you to identify your window of implantation and will allow a personalized embryo transfer, increasing your chances of getting pregnant. Not all women are the same, but for every woman, the endometrium matters. Edgenomics, with science on your side.